Hello everyone, welcome back to OAU Tech Made Easy. Um, today we'll be discussing interpenetration of solids and we'll be sticking on a question from the Pick Up and Packet workbook 2. In this question, we are asked to replicate the drawing given to us, which is in first angle projection. We are given a plan, which is down here, and a front elevation, which is up here. Mind you, the front elevation is incomplete, so we have to complete the front elevation and also draw a third view in the direction of our R. That means we are drawing a side view on the right-hand side. So this is the question we are going to be treating today. Figure 1 shows a cylinder penetrated by a hexagonal prism. We have to draw the given views, completing the front elevation and to add an end view in the direction of our R. Okay, so now in the diagram, we can see how the hexagonal prism penetrates the cylinder. Now, this is the front view, and this is the plan. We are given the dimensions of the hexagonal prism to be 60 millimeters across flats. This means that from opposite flats of the hexagon, we should have it, the distance to be 60 millimeters. So as you can see, we have a 3D model of the drawing we are treating today and you can see the plan which is the view from the top of the drawing you can see the circular base of the cylinder and two sides of the hexagon as it penetrates the cylinder also from the front view you can see the face of the hexagon penetrating the cylinder and this tells you the parts that is missing from the question given to us since we have to complete the front elevation of the interpenetrating solids so on my paper i have begun the drawing and as you can see i have the front view of the cylinder which is 88 by 100 88 is the diameter of the circular base which i have also replicated here on the plan also as you can see in the question we have been told that the prism penetrating the cylinder has a center line which is also the center line of the cylinder we have here so continuing the drawing now, I'm going to draw out the parts of the hexagon that is shooting out from the cylinder, which I have also started. I'm offsetting 14 millimeters from the center of the cylinder, which is going to begin the hexagon I'm drawing. Also take note that the distance from here to this point is 64 millimeters as shown in the question. And since the hexagon given to us is 60 millimeters across flats, I also have to offset 30 millimeters to each side from this center to complete the drawing of my hexagon. So I'm going to be doing that now. So I have my compass here set at 30 millimeters, which I'm going to offset at both sides of the center line I have drawn. That's 30 millimeters here and 30 millimeters to the other side. So these 30 millimeters I have drawn. Also, I want you to note that this line here is 45 degrees to the horizontal plane, which is the plane at the center of the circle, 45 degrees, as shown in the question. So for me to join these points to the cylinder, I also have to join them at 45 degrees, and I'm going to be using my 45 degree set square for that. Okay, so now we have fully replicated the drawing given to us in the question. The first thing to do is to complete the front elevation, which is this rectangle we have here, the 88 by 100 rectangle. And to do that, we have to project the lines of the hexagon upwards. So I have made all the projections from the points that are not in the front elevation, which are the, pro the points of the hexagonal prism. Mind you, your projection lines should be thin or thin lines. I'm making mine thick for the purpose of the video. Now, the next thing we have to do is to get the height of our hexagonal prism. Height in terms of corners. We only have the distance across flats, which is given to be 60 mm, and which we have used to get the distance here on our plan. But to represent it, on the front elevation we need the distance across corners so we have to draw the hexagon 
very next to the front elevation so we will to project the lines from the hexagon to the front elevation um in your drawing you can decide to draw the full hexagon here but you are drawing it across corners using the dimensions we have here yeah i'm going to be drawing half hexagon because of i don't have much space on my paper and what i'm trying to say is since your front view is going to be something like this we need the distance from this top corner to this bottom corner we only have the distance across flat which is the opposite side here so that's why we are drawing the full hexagon beside the front elevation so we can project this top and bottom corner onto the front elevation that we have so i'm going to start drawing the hexagon i'm talking about to get the distance i need here across corners and it's still the same dimensions we use for the hexagon across flats except i'm going to be using my set squares to make sure that i have a top and bottom corner as i explained earlier in the model so my compass here is set to 30 mm and i'm going to be drawing a semicircle from the center line here So from this semicircle now, I'm going to be drawing my half hexagon. Like I said before, you can make yours a full hexagon. What I just want to get is the top and bottom corner, the distance between them, so that I can project it onto my drawing. Continuing with that now. I have my half hexagon here and I have my top corner which is this and my bottom corner which is this so now I can project this into my front elevation to complete the view from here so now I have projected the lines from the vertices of the half hexagon that I have drawn here I've projected them to the points where I got my projection lines from the plan um the next thing i'm going to be doing is to draw the face of the hexagon penetrating the cylinder so now to draw the face of the hexagon i'm going to be joining these points to this point and this point i'm also going to be joining the um bottom here to this point and this point then i'm going to get the face of the hexagon so doing that now i'll be having something like this So now that I have the face of the hexagon, I'll be erasing most of the lines here because they won't be needed anymore. And also remember that projection lines should be faint for the sake of clarity in this video. We are making them thick. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is to draw the lines that penetrate into the cylinder. That's as you can see in this place on the plan. The lines that penetrate the cylinder, the line that penetrates this cylinder here too. So um, to draw the lines penetrating the cylinder, we are going to be drawing this up to this point as it's already there. So I'm just going to take in the line. Um, the same thing here. If you notice, I've erased most of the lines here because they are not really needed. I'm also going to be taking in these lines to show that they penetrate the cylinder. Then I'll be joining this to this and I'll be joining the line here to this to show how the cylinder penetrates. I'm sorry, how the prism penetrates the cylinder. So we have completed the front elevation of the drawing. As you can see, we have our top corner, bottom corner, which is also represented here. You can see these lines penetrating the cylinder, this straight line here and this slant one. They are also represented here like this, this and this. We also have the inside lines in here that are marked. We have them here too. Um, now that we have completed the front elevation of the drawing we move on to the next part of the question which asks us to draw the side view that's in the direction of r the right side view so now i am going to be projecting lines from the plan and from the front elevation to this part from the plan i'll first project them to this line here mind you this line is 45 degrees to the 
horizontal, which is also 45 degrees to the vertical. After projecting lines here, I will have to project them upwards so that they will intersect with the projected lines from the front elevation. As you can see now, I have projected the lines from the front elevation that we have completed and the plan. From the plan, I projected them to this 45 degree line on the fourth quadrant here and I projected them upwards to where I'm going to be drawing the side view. That's the view from this ROR. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to draw the face of the hexagon. Then I am going to complete it by drawing the lines that makes the hexagon connect with the cylinder. So to draw the face of the hexagon, remember that you are going to be working with the front elevation and the plan. Uh, the top corner I have projected up to these points also corresponds to this point here on the plan. So that means this point is going to be the top corner on the side view as it also corresponds here. Same thing for the bottom corner that I'm going to start from this point because it also corresponds to this point on the plan. Um, the other vertices that mix up the sides of the hexagonal prism, which is this point, this point, have been projected here and here. So now to draw the face of this hexagonal prism, I'm going to be joining this point to this and also to this. And I'm going to be drawing the I'm going to be joining its bottom parts here to this and to this point. Now that I have produced the face, the next part I'm going to be producing is same thing that I have done here, which is the lines of the hexagonal prism penetrating the cylinder. In this case, I'm going to be having these lines here extended as far as this point because as you can see here, you have the lines to be longer at this edge. And since we are viewing from this angle, it's also the same thing on the plan you are viewing from this angle so I'm going to be extending this part to this part extending this vertex here to this place taking this top corner I'm going to be extending it here to just as I have done here and I'm going to join the lines together Drawing the lines from inside the hexagon, as assuming it has an open face. You can decide to do this, you can decide not to. And to make it clearer, you can erase the lines here. I'm done erasing the lines. I'm going to join this to this. You don't forget that it lines the cylinder is 88 by 100 so that's what i have done and this is all we are asked to do we have completed the front elevation and we have drawn the side view looking at the front elevation from rr um don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel also make use of the comment section if you have anything to say about the video or probably some parts that is not clear to you Thank you very much. See you in the next video.